Hello friends! Today, I'm going to be making a very healthy recipe. It contains a ton of apples and there's barely any ingredients. This is the best apple pie recipe you will ever need. And it's also the easiest. So uh, with that said, let's get right into it. Alright, so these are ingredients, not many, very easy to obtain. So first we have one fourth cup of water. We also have one and one half teaspoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of flour. This is all purpose flour. And then we have eight ounces or one stick of uh, unsalted butter. Uh, we also have three fourth cup of coconut palm sugar and six crisp apples. So now we're going to make a amazing, super delicious sauce for our apple pie to add to our apples. So I'm going to add in my butter and wait for a minute to let it uh, uh, melt. This is on medium heat stove. And put it in. And we're gonna wait for a minute until it melts. So my butter has basically melted. And now I'm going to add in all my flour. And we're going to whisk that together. So now that I've added in my flour, I'm going to add in my water. I'm going to whisk that up, and then I'm going to add my sugar. And now here comes the sugar. Please be very careful, this might be very hot. I'm gonna whisk that now. And once this is done whisking, it's gonna make a nice caramelized sauce that we can add to our apples. Secret sauce is being made. This cool, we're gonna peel up our apples. Chopped and cored and peeled, we've got to take our cinnamon, pour it all in generously, and then we've got to mix it all up. Should probably make these apples super duper good. And then we can add in our secret sauce we made earlier. So the cinnamon will be the amplifier apples. She'll make the pie taste super good. And also all these apples will make it super healthy. And then we can add in our sauce. So you see this uh, secret sauce, I'm gonna start mixing, but um, I used coconut palm sugar, which made our secret sauce kind of brownish with that uh, black kind of tinge. But if you use white sugar or granulated sugar, it would have been more yellowish, but uh, hey, we want the healthy stuff. So I'm gonna start mixing. And this really, the, that five minutes of making the sauce really makes this apple pie amazing. And so we're gonna mix all of this up. Make sure you get every last drop, otherwise you won't get that super duper flavor. So now I have these two pie crusts, which I've pre-made. Um, the instructions for these are in my dark chocolate pecan pie video, and I'll put that uh, I'll put the link in the description below. But uh, I've got these pre made, so time to roll them out. Right. Oh. I forgot my cutting board. Usual old vibe off. Thanks, Invisible Man. Anyways, I'm going to roll this out. So now I've nicely rolled up my dough. It's all rolled out, and now we have to transfer this to our pie pan over there. This is gonna take some work. Transferred my first dough into the pie plate, and now I've gotta roll out my second dough to make that lattice kind of shape. You know the lattice pies that are super duper fancy with those strips overlapping and everything? Yeah, surprisingly, they're super easy. All you gotta do is just roll out your second dough, and then I can show you how to overlap these strips to make your super fancy pie and show off to your friends. 
you. This is gonna be so good. Now I've rolled out all my dough. That took a while. But we're going to cut it into 10 strips to make that lattice pie shape. And it, this kind of looks like Alaska. For some reason. One, two, three, four. So just mixing up my apple, caramelized apple mixture. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our apple in the center, slowly piling it up, and we're going to spread it around. This is going to make the filling of our apple pie, which is super good. So now I've preheated my oven to 425 degrees, and I've added in my caramelized apple into our pie crust. And now we're going to see how we arrange these strips. So first we're going to take the largest one of them all, or whatever you want, like this one, and we're going to put it in the middle. Don't worry, we'll trim off the edges. And then I'm going to take the next one. And these first uh, strips need to go in one direction. So I guess I can put that many? Three? Yeah, I think three. Then I'm going to take another strip and we're going to peel back the first two. Then I take this strip and put it like that. And then we have to fold it over. See how easy this is? And then we have to peel this middle strip back and take another long strip and put that in the middle. And we keep doing this for both sides. See how easy this is? And you can show off to all your friends like, ooh, I'm an amazing pie maker. Right? Next one. And this is just going to look beautiful after you're done. And then you put one strip in there. Fix that up. And then we can do the same on the other side. And see, this just makes your pie look ultimately the beautifulest thing. Look at that. And then if we have excess, we can either tuck it in behind the dough or we can trim it straight off with our silly scissors. I'm gonna go grab the silly scissors right now. Look how amazing this looks even without baking it. So now that we've cut all the edges, we're going to tuck in our excess pie pieces so that it looks just like that store-bought pie and there's no overlapping edges. And you see how nicely this is braided and it just looks amazing. And like this lattice pie, usually uh, it's in the stores. Let's trim a little bit of this. And it looks just like a store-bought pie. You make this pie and go up to your friend and say, hey, I made this. And you can even make this for Thanksgiving, for meals, for anything really. And it's just a great pie in general. And so we trim and we top. We uh, trim, trim and tuck. And then once it's all trimmed and tucked in, we can take all the excess dough and put it around the areas that need to be, you know, fixed up. So this is gonna look great once it's done. And we're going to go shove this in the oven after I'm done uh, crimping. So I'm crimping this and I was wondering, should I crimp it in a different way? And I was just like, nah. So all these pies and everything that I give to you guys is uh, always super healthy, no preservatives. I really wish to supply everyone with super healthy recipes. And so now that our pie is fully baked, um, it looks amazing. And I'm just gonna get straight into the, ooh. This looks so good. I'm going to get straight into this taste test because I've been waiting long enough. Just kind of hard. Gosh, this looks so good. I'm gonna try this because why not? It's super tasty. This is the most best apple pie recipe 
you can ever get. Some of their secret sauce ingredients, you know that. It is so good. And the apple just by itself, it just tastes so nice and good. Mm. I can eat this all day. It's so nice and gooey and tasty and soft. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really love making this and I hope you love baking it too. And, and so you remember, can you please hit that subscribe button? And if you really love this video, can you hit that like button too? And you can click that notification bell in the top right corner so that you can get notifications on all of my videos. Well, I'm done with this video, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. Peace out.